Creating and printing your photo books can be a challenging ordeal. However, I have finally completed mine and have learned quite a bit along the way. So if you're curious about how to choose the right services, the things to keep in mind, and talking about the end result, then this video is for you. Hi friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jorge. On this channel, we talk about photography and filmmaking. We merge creativity and productivity to live a fulfilling life. And in today's video, we're talking about my photo book. It's finally completed. We will also talk about blurb and some of the lessons learned during this whole project as well. First, I am very excited to announce that the digital version of my photo book, Streets of Japan, is available for purchase. I won't be selling a physical book for the time being, more on that later. So for those of you that are interested in picking one up and contributing to the growth of the channel, the link will be posted down below. Thank you very much to everyone that showed interest and wants to pick one of these up. It really means a lot. I appreciate it. Second, I think most of the time that I spent on this project was just trying to figure out what was possible, testing different things, different services, different paper, and learning from all the mistakes that I've made. Expensive mistakes, by the way. So let's talk about some of the lessons learned during this whole photo book process and project, and let's get started. We have talked about organizing your images and sequencing your photographs and even calibrating your display before, and some of those steps do cost money. However, let's get the obvious out of the way. Making a photo book can be an expensive project, especially if you're self-publishing or you're a small content creator. I had to do a couple of test prints to figure out the correct paper, the size of the book, and the cover type as well. And each of those test prints costs money. Each of those test prints takes a couple weeks to get made and delivered, and it's a very time-consuming process. Don't get me wrong, I think it's worth it, and I think every photographer should experience this at some point in their lives. However, that does not make it easy or cheap. So before you start, think about this as a long-term process or project. A project that will help you learn and grow and become a better photographer, but also will help you sort of prepare for the cost of this as well. And that brings us to ways to minimize the cost and maximize the value. There are many options and services out there. Companies that specialize in printing and creating photo books. However, choosing the right company is the most important thing. You should be considering or asking yourself from the very beginning which one is right for you. Which company offers a good amount of options and quality as well. Because yes, the cost is important and we want to try to keep the cost down to try to make it feasible to print our work and potentially sell our work. However, we want to have options and we want to have quality as well. How the book feels in your hands matters. How the paper affects the exposure and the look of your photographs also matter. That is what I mean about options. I ended up going with Blurb. It's a great option for people living in North America. It offers a reasonable amount of options and quality for a decent price. Make sure you spend some time reading and learning about the different types of paper and how that affects your images, the advantages of the types of covers, and how that affects the weight and the size of the book. All of those things are very important and you need to keep those in mind before you get the test print. But the most important thing about Blurb is how accessible it is. Many companies have proprietary tools that force you into their own ecosystem, and Blurb has one of those as well. However, they are very accessible when it comes to the tools that you can use to build your project the way you want to build it. And they even make it easy to share your end result from your preferred application as well. In my case, Lightroom Classic, which does make the whole process a lot more accessible and a lot easier. That being said, once you complete your photo book and you order it and you pay for it, what do you get? I'm happy to say that the books are packaged and shipped in this cardboard protective uh, container. I don't know what you call it. And this definitely helps protect the book against bending and flexing and smashing and ruining the corners of the book as well. It did take a couple weeks to get to Canada and shipping was not cheap. But you do get a tracking number and some peace of mind knowing that the book is protected and has been shipped. I wanted a physical representation of my life experiences and my work. In this case, my entire year abroad in Japan. 
I have mentioned this in my everyday carry video, but having a couple of physical prints or a test print of my photo book really does help disarm people when they confront you about taking photos of them or even ask you to delete the photos. And yes, having this physical representation of my work has helped in the past. It can help share your work and present yourself to others and potentially create a source of income or revenue as well. However, in my case, I would need to order dozens or even hundreds of books to make it slightly profitable, which means investing thousands of dollars on it without knowing if people are willing to pick one up, without even considering the shipping costs, marketing, etc. And that really makes you consider your options. So, as a very small YouTube channel and content creator, I need to be realistic and correctly set my expectations. My audience, my subscribers, the people that watch my videos do not owe me anything at all. I cannot expect anybody to buy my photo book just because I made it. I need to be realistic, I need to understand the limitations. So for the time being, only the digital version will be available for purchase. And that could potentially help finance some of the physical copies and get the physical prints going in the future if that's something that people are interested in. So the point is to ask yourself, why are you doing this? What is the value of it? And for me, a photo book is something that I would want to keep for myself. I would want to carry around and showcase to people and start conversations, disarm people to get defensive, almost like a really expensive business card, if you will. And in my opinion, if you're doing it for the right reasons, then everything else is a bonus. If your audience wants to support you and pick up your book, that's great, that's a bonus. If you end up making quite a bit of money and making physical prints in a digital store or whatever it is, that's great, that's a bonus. But the point is that you wanted it for yourself, that was the reason, that's why you did it, everything else is a bonus. So those are some of the lessons learned during this whole project and process and hopefully we can get to the point in the future where I can get physical prints and physical copies but for now, I have the digital version on my store. As always, I am curious to know what do you think? Have you printed your own photo book before or are you interested in doing that? Share your thoughts in a comment down below. But that is it for today's video. If you found this video helpful or valuable, please like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and join my free newsletter as well. Thank you very much for watching, for giving me your time and your energy, and good luck with your creative process.